There are three main body systems which are often important in fatigue-related conditions. Understanding which one or ones are important for you can be the key to unlocking your recovery journey. One of the reasons why I believe we will never find a single biomarker for fatigue-related conditions is different people have different body systems impacted. Can also be at different stages of your recovery journey, different body systems can become important or can become less important. But there are three main body systems which tend to be important in understanding fatigue-related conditions. These are your digestive system, your endocrine system, your hormones, and your immune system. So I'm gonna say a few words around what are some of the potential symptoms and signs of each of these body systems, what are some of the possible causes, and how does this help us unlock the key things you may need to do for your recovery journey. So let's start off with your digestive system. Signs and symptoms of things not working as they should be in your digestive system can be things like bloating, flatulence, having wind, both wind going up, but also wind going down, constipation, diarrhea, brain fog, and it's worth just pausing for a moment on brain fog because sometimes people's primary sign that something is out of balance in the digestive system is not digestive symptoms, it's that foggy head, which is still often a result of things being out of balance in your digestion. So what are the, some of the potential causes of digestive symptoms? Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, candida, parasites, gut dysbiosis more broadly, where the balance of our microbiome has gone out and there may be too many bad bacteria, not enough good bacteria, or we may have too many bacteria in our small intestine, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or SIBO. What do we do about the digestive system? Well, the first thing, of course, is what we eat becomes really important. Now, there is no one single diet for fatigue-related conditions. One of the key discoveries in the early years of the Optimum Health Clinic is the nutritional program that helps one person can actually be something that makes things worse for another program. So there isn't one answer, but the recognition that what we eat is important. Breaking down our food is important. Rebalancing the microbiome is important. Let's talk about your endocrine system or your hormones. When our hormones are out of balance, our energy is out of balance. One way to think about the role, particularly of your stress hormones, is when your normal healthy energy production runs out, for example, our mitochondria are not making enough energy, it's the role of our stress hormones to fill the gap. This is where we can go into feeling tired, but wired. We are physically depleted, but we're in an ongoing state of anxiety. That's often because our adrenaline, our cortisol is being released to try to help keep our system going on. What are some of the causes of our hormones being out of balance? There's a whole bunch of things. It can be stress. It can be that depletion of our healthy, normal energy production. It can also be things like perimenopause, it can also be menopause. Men go through their own experience in, in middle age. It can be loads on our immune system and it can actually be our digestive system being out of balance. Really anything that causes a pressure or a stress to our system. What do we do about balancing our hormones? Well, just like with the digestive system, we need to figure out what's causing the issue. We need to address that but we may also need to use various supplements to support our hormone production. We may even need to look at bioidentical hormones to supplement and support our body. When it comes to our immune system, some of the key symptoms 
It can be our immune system is overactive. It's that we start to react to foods, to chemicals, to things in our environment that are not actually dangerous, but our immune system becomes hyperactive to those. Or it can be that our immune system starts to underreact, that we start to get every cold or flu or bug that goes round. It may be that our immune system is fighting a particular viral load. It may be that we're dealing with mycotoxins. It may be that we're suffering from Lyme disease. We have some kind of tick-borne infection. So there are a number of causes that can drive our immune system out of balance. What do we do about it? Again, we need to decode what's happening and to have intervention to address that. But it may be that we need to have ways of modulating our immune system, ways of boosting our immune system. But really, here's the key point that I hope you're taking away from this video. Fatigue is not one thing. There is not one system that is out of balance for everyone and therefore one biomarker test and one intervention. We have to decode your fatigue. We have to figure out which system or which systems are out of balance. When one system goes out, it impacts the other systems. And then we can start to target interventions specifically to address not just the blanket symptom of fatigue, but what's happening in your actual body. We have a map, a framework, and a series of protocols that we've been developing here for over 20 years at the Optimum Health Clinic. If you'd like to explore how that framework may help decode your fatigue and help us map your pathway to recovery, please do book a free discovery call and we can explore how we can potentially help you. Hope that's been helpful. Thank you for watching.